All right. Scratch Pad Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to uh, a female journalist speaking on Tucker Carlson before he went to Russia and when he went to Russia and uh, interviewed Vladimir Putin. And we're going to discuss that. And we'll be back. Listen, man, so we're going to watch this little clip of this uh, female talking about Tucker Carlson, and we're going to come back and discuss. So let's go. Review the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin. Tucker Carlson is lying from the streets of Russia, no less. Not a single Western journalist has bothered to interview the president of the other country involved in this conflict, Vladimir Putin. That's a lie. Serious news outlets, including CNN, have requested Putin to interview over and over again. Most Americans have no idea why Putin invaded Ukraine or what his goals are now. They've never heard his voice. Another lie. Serious news outlets, including CNN, have covered and, of course, reported on Putin's words since this war began, including one of his baseless justifications for the invasion of Ukraine, which he initially claimed was to stop the Nazis. First, because it's our job. We're in journalism. Tucker Carlson is not a journalist, not even close. And his former employer in a court case actually agreed, quote, the general tenor of the show should then inform a viewer that Carlson is not stating actual facts about the topics he discusses and is instead engaging in exaggeration and non-literal commentary. Two years into a war that's reshaping the entire world, most Americans are not informed. They have no real idea what's happening in this region, here in Russia or 600 miles away in Ukraine. For two years, real journalists have risked their lives to report from the ground each and every day in Russia and in Ukraine, including two U.S. journalists who are right now baselessly being detained. All right, man. So, I don't. I got. I got some things I gotta say. It's gonna be controversial as usual, but I don't care. Um, first of all, she's she's lying. Let's be clear here. See, this is this is what you this is what you call propaganda, right? You have Tucker Carlson, and then you have the mainstream media. So she said that. This couple of things she said that was just totally lie, just a total lie, right? She said that Tucker Carlson, when Tucker Carlson said that no mainstream media outlet has tried to interview Vladimir Putin. Technically, she's right about that, but she's talking about before the war. He's talking about after the war started. You know what I'm saying? So she ain't being, she's being very disingenuous with that. She's not telling the truth with that part. And on top of that, there were three journalists who interviewed Vladimir Putin throughout the years. I believe Barbara Walters was one of them. And they, and they considered them heroes for doing that. Hmm. Now that he does it, he's a traitor. So that's, that's one thing she said that was just, totally f- false you know what i'm saying another thing she said that was uh that was a bunch of garbage and she said that tucker carlson isn't a journalist right i would beg to differ on that because tucker carlson is risking his life to go and v- interview a guy who's the enemy of the united states right now he's from the united states and he's going there to interview him. So when you're saying he's not a journalist, then what is he? 
what is isn't that what journalism is isn't that what journalists do they go get the story how is he not a journalist what are you doing that you could say that you're a journalist you're 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 calling out tucker carlson for interviewing vladimir putin but you're not trying to interview vladimir putin yourself and then she said another thing she said which she didn't notice was going to happen but i believe one of the people that she named tucker carlson asked vladimir putin to release one of those people i don't know about the other lady but the guy he asked him to release him and putin said no because that guy got caught red-handed with classified documents now see she didn't mention that part though and this is what i mean by the mainstream media they are very good at tricking people this is why you have channels like this this is why you have channels like abl and and a uh, 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 black conservative perspective ben shapiro uh, uh um you know any of these other channels this is why you have us because we're going to call them out lfi family uh, uh brandon tatum this michael knows uh, uh, uh everybody that's on that side that's on this side i would say even fresh and fit but what kills me is you have journalists like this who literally promote division none of them said hey this is a good thing that tucker carlson is going to interview vladimir putin because we need as americans we need to we need some answers of why we keep sending money to ukraine what's the point of it why we keep sending money to them we don't know do you know why you you don't know most americans don't know why they're sending money to ukraine they don't know why so when when you have women like this and i'm gonna touch on this real quick because i know it's gonna get a lot of backlash but it's the truth i'm gonna just be honest black women in america in 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 politics and black women that are in uh journalism or i should say activism y'all being played and used every one of y'all joy reed tiffany cross this chick right here uh 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 what's her name korean john pierre all y'all being used because black women in america are like they're like shields for the democratic party they're shields you know what i'm saying every one of them look at all of them whoopee uh, uh 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 sunny sunny holston they all shields for the democratic party because you can't shoot at a black woman in america and what i mean by i'm talking about verbally not physically you can't fizz you can't verbally shoot at them because what happens oh you're being you're being you're being racist all of them so they every time they have an issue with someone they always prop up a black woman to call them out on it. You might have some black men, but they have their own outlets. But the mainstream media promotes black women to be their shields. Even the, even the Supreme Court Justice, K uh, Kataji Brown Jackson, even her. They asked her, what was a woman? I'm not I'm not qualified to say what's a woman. You're you're about to be a supreme court justice which she is now and you say you're not qualified to say what a woman is because they're shields so for her to sit here and call out tucker carlson i find it very funny that she was that she would say all this stuff about this guy and not say well tucker carlson to me is a brave man i might not agree with everything he does and everything he says but he's very brave for him to interview the other side because as a journalist, Americans should know what's going on. You have to hear from both sides. You have to. There used to be this guy, and I'm gonna let you go. 
There used to be this guy. I cannot remember his name off the top of my head. But anybody in the comments, you'll probably remember his name. And I'm not saying that this is a good thing. I'm just saying that he gave it a different perspective. He went and taught a black guy. You probably know who I'm talking about. He went and he talked to Klansmen. And he asked them why he was racist. Don't you know, he got, I believe, three, but I'm going to say one. But I believe it was three. But he got one grandmaster, grand dragon of the KKK. He got one of them to abolish all of it and 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 and, and became he 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 stopped being racist after that man talked to him. It's a black guy. He's very mm-hmm. famous for going to talk to, to to the KKK and asking them why you hate black people so much or why do you hate people so much? Don't you know that that guy got demonized and they said we can't believe he's doing that? If you could if you can change one person, right? That one person has people behind them. They could change them people too. It's the same thing as if you go talk to somebody that you disagree with and then y'all come out, y'all might not agree on everything, but y'all agree on some things. But this type of rhetoric that this chick is spitting is nothing but division. And this is exactly why I hate the mainstream media because they do nothing but pull us apart. Now, one time did this lady try to connect everything together. You think that I'm going to listen to her knowing that this guy is risking his life for, 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 for potentially for us, for, for Americans, he's risking his life for Americans. And you're telling me that he's not a journalist and he went to Russia. <laughs> hey man, it is what it is. Man, um, I didn't know too much about this. <clears throat> you know, um, when you told me about it off camera, I was very intrigued. You know, um, it seems like in the video they were just uh, the way they the way the video was cut. It's like they're going tit for tat, tit for tat on information. You know what I'm saying? One is preaching false information. The other one is preaching, you know what I'm saying, uh, facts or whatever. You know, um, that's kind of what mainstream media is anyway. <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it is. You got one side that lies to you and the other side don't lie to you. They just cut straight to the point. That's why you got uh that's why you got these uh certain radio broadcasts too that uh that um speak about you know um politics and social commentary and things of that nature. You know, that's why you got them because those those type of media outlets don't get funded by the upper echelon folk. They just get funded by the people that like to listen to them. Cause I'm the one I can't remember the one particular station, but it's a station in New Jersey. And I know you know what I'm talking about. And I listen to them every morning on the way to work. And they uh they always like, you know, preach facts as far as like politics and things of that nature. So it's right along the lines of what we're discussing. But yeah, man, that's basically what media is, man. One person lie to you, the other person don't. And then, you know, it's up to you to decipher whether you believe the one side or the other side, you know? And, you know, sadly, sadly, a lot of people just believe the lies. And that's the only reason, and the only reason why that happens is because um, the side that's lying, they're the upper echelon of media. So you get exposed to them the most. The one that ain't lying, you might see them like maybe twice a week. But you see you see the other news outlets like every single day. They pump it every single day on your television. They even pump it on your on, on your tablets. They pump it on your cell phones. You know what I mean? Every device that you got, it flashes on your screen. But the other ones you don't see that often. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like a it's a programming. It's a programming. The more repetitious, 
you see of these things, the more you 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 get accustomed to it, you be like, oh, maybe they are telling the truth. Maybe it is this, maybe it is that. Not knowing that you're just being programmed to believe what they believe, you know? Mm. Just the way it thing. is. There's another thing she said too that was that was uh completely uh uh over exaggerated. So she pulled up the article and said that and this is what I mean by you got to be really careful when you listen to these people because they lie to you in a way where you think it's the truth and it's a lie, right? Mm -hmm. So she said something that was basically the truth. She said that Fox News, they got sued because Tucker Carlson had promoted a story about, I believe it was about Donald Trump and it was about one, I believe the chick that just sued him, uh, just, uh, I can't remember her name. She just sued him again. And she won all this money. Right. So basically they went to court and they said, well, you can't believe anything that, that he says, because he is basically some of the things he says he's fabricating. Right. This is what Fox news said. Now, Let's let's tap into that real quick because I think that's very important that um any news outlet is going to so so what she was saying there was she basically was saying that Fox News was saying that their journalists ain't real journalists, right? That's what she was saying. But Rachel Maddow had the same thing happen to her. And she's on the same she's not on CNN, but she's on MSNBC. Why she didn't bring that up? So is Rachel Maddow not, um, she's not a, a journalist either, huh? And this is what you gotta, you gotta pay attention to. The only reason why they did that is because they did that under the, I believe it's under a certain act, right? Where you can't really sue a journalist for, or a journalist or a news anchor for saying something because in certain instances, it's sensationalism, Right. It's, it, it is sensationalism. I'm not saying that they all tell the truth. I ain't saying they all lie. But I am saying in certain cases, they have to fabricate it to get you to watch. Right? Now, again, this is what happened with Tucker Carlson. The reason why the story was told the way it was told is because people were engaged. So what happened? Fox News said in the courtroom that this was basically was sensationalized. You know what I'm saying? The story was real though. It wasn't that the story was fake. They just basically saying like this was sensationalized. You know what I'm saying? We had to, you know how a, a person, you know what a person does, like they make things bigger than what it really is. You know what I'm saying? Right. The way she's made it seem is if like Fox News has said this guy's a liar. Even though he worked for us and he worked for us after that for years. Well, he's a liar. That's that's how she put it out there. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And that's mm -hmm. that's disingenuous. She could have said, listen, his own network said that he was he was uh doing some type of sensationalism but it wasn't just him that did it the network wasn't a part of it every mm -hmm. network does it she doing mm -hmm. it right now by saying mm -hmm. that he's a liar and saying he's in he's in russia and he didn't even ask about he he's not a real journalist like the people that got caught the one of them got caught with classified documents so let me get this right you have to be a real journalist. The real journalists get caught with classified documents. That's a real journalist. Not one that goes and interviews the top guy. That's probably the most powerful man in the world. I would say now because Joe Biden is gone. This guy's the most powerful man in the world. He interviews the most powerful man in the world. And that's not journalism. I don't know. So that's all I had to say. But I just wanted to make that clear that be careful with people like her. 
because they're very disingenuous and they, they will pick apart things just to promote it to you. So Tucker Carlson never did anything good. Nothing. He never did anything good. Nothing. He never revealed anything. He never he never got any bombshell reporting. Nothing, huh? Nothing. And in my question, and my question at her is, why was Tucker Carlson and still today? Why is he the number one journalist? I would say of all time. Why? If if nobody cares and he's a liar, shouldn't people see through that? Why do people on a Democratic side like her and on a Republican side, why do they all watch him? If he's a liar, why why do everybody watch him? Wouldn't it be wouldn't it be if this guy is a liar? Wouldn't people say, yeah, he's a liar, don't watch him? But why do they continue to watch him? You know why? Because he do things and he get things done that they could never get done. Ever. She could never get an interview with Vladimir Putin. Ever. I don't care if she was in the game for 50 years. She could never get an interview with him. And for her to say that, he's not a journalist. That just goes against everything that we all do here. It's crazy, but it is what it is. That's all I had to say, man. You got anything else? No, I'm good. All right, man, we out of here.